Hello students, I am Rahul Sharad Joshi, Assistant Professor at the Department of Commerce, the Bhopal School of Social Sciences. I take lectures on income tax and the topic I have chosen for today is advanced payment of tax. Now, as you can see, advanced payment of tax is also known as pay as you earn scheme. And the crux under this scheme is you need to pay the tax on the basis of your estimated income. You will estimate your income for the financial year and on the basis of that estimated income, you need to decide your tax liability. Now, this means if we take financial year as 2021, the income tax would be payable in the year 21-22. But under the advanced tax scheme, the tax would be payable in the same year 2021 under the scheme of advanced tax. Now, let's talk about the conditions of liability to pay advanced tax. Now, Advanced tax shall be payable when the tax payable is more than rupees 10,000. So, your liability to pay advanced tax only arises when the tax amount comes to 10,000 or more. And one more important point is all items of income are liable for payment of advanced tax. Now, we will go as to who is not required to pay advanced tax. So, a senior citizen who is at least 60 years of age and who is not having any income from business or profession, that individual is not required to pay advanced tax. Means if you are a resident Indian and you are a senior citizen and you don't have any income from business or profession, in that case you are not liable to pay advanced tax. Then how do we compute advanced tax liability? Now we will go through the points by which we can make sure that how we compute the tax liability. The first thing is you need to compute the gross total income. Then you need to deductions, you need to go for deductions under section 80C to 80U. This is how you arrive at total income. Then you arrive 4% health and education says and that is how you come to the final amount of tax. Out of the final amount of tax, if there is anything known as tax deducted at source, we will deduct that amount and then comes the amount which should be paid as advanced tax. If such amount is more than 10,000, then the liability to pay advanced tax arises. Then now let's come to the due dates of payment of advanced tax. Due dates are first date of installment is on or before 15th of June. Second is on or before 15th of September. Third is on or before 15th of December. And the last installment is on or before 15th of March of the next year. Now, what is the percentage of installment we need to deposit? On or before 15th of June, it should be 15% of the advanced tax liability. On or before 15th of September, it has to be 45% of the advanced tax liability. On or before 15th of December, it should be 75% of advanced tax liability and on or before 15th of March of the next year, it should be 100% of the tax liability, right? So, these are the installment dates as well as the installment percentage. Now, we come to payment of advanced tax in case of capital gains or casual income. Sometimes, it might happen that some capital gain arises or casual income arises in between the payment of installments. In that case, we need to adjust the tax liability in the remaining installments. So, what does this say? This says, if any capital gain arises or is there any winning from lotteries, which are generally unexpected, in that case, we need to pay the advance tax in the remaining installments. We need to increase the tax liability in the remaining installments and then we need to pay the advance tax in those remaining installments. Now, there is something known as penalty for payment, non-payment of advance tax. So, penalty is dealt under two sections. First, we would be talking about section 234B. Section 234B talks about interest for default in payment of advance tax. Now, this section gets activates in two conditions. Number one, first, if SAC who is liable to pay advance tax has failed to pay such tax. SAC has not paid advance tax or where the advance tax paid is less than 90% of the assessed tax. In both these conditions, section 234 gets activated. 
in that case what is the percentage of simple interest simple interest will be levied at the rate of 1% per month then please remember if the amount of advance tax deposited is more than 90% then no interest will be charged now second provision is under section 234c section 234c talks about interest for deferment of advance tax in this case if an sse has defaulted in paying installments as on prescribed dates we have certain dates that is 15th of june 15th of september 15th of december and 15th of march if sac has defaulted in paying installments on the prescribed dates then in this particular section he has to pay interest of 1% for the next 3 months and these are the penal provisions in case of advance tax now let's talk about if advance tax is paid more than required normally what happens if advance tax is paid more than required then you are entitled for a refund the excess amount paid will be refunded back to you and if the amount is more than 10% of the tax liability then even you are entitled to get a interest of 6% per annum from income tax department so students that's all about advance payment of tax in the next class we will take some another topic till then thank you so much